Joe, given the way A.J. last walked off this mound, what does he do for an encore? Well, I'd just love to have seven strong innings out of him. I mean, that would be good enough for me. But uh, he's thrown the ball so well his last, you know, 12 starts or whatever it is, and um, just stay on his roll. When you look back on Romero beating you guys July 6th, is it his changeup that stood out to you, Joe? Uh, he's got other pitches, too. I mean, he's got a curveball with depth, and he's got a good slider, and his fastball will do some different things. He's got good stuff. Um, but his changeup is probably his out pitch. Lefties hit him better than righties. Does that explain some of the lineup? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and uh, Hintz has some, uh, had a couple hits off him, and uh, that's why we went with our lefties today. Did Teixeira need the day off more so than some of your other guys, or how are you weighing that this week? We're just talking about different days for each guy. Um, probably be a, a chance that uh, someone will have a day off tomorrow, too. Long travel day. And uh, so Alex said he was okay. We're going to do text today. Alex has withstood a lot of innings innings in a row here. Does that surprise you that he's been able to go this long now? Well, we've given him two DH days in there. Um, we gave him one in Toronto on Wednesday, and we gave him a DH day here on Sunday, and that's helped. Dang games, people are sleeping. Yeah. Joe, for our purposes, could you go over the Jabba situation, when he'll make another start, and what yeah. you'll do in the meantime? Yes, I will. He will start Wednesday, not today, <laughs> Wednesday in Oakland. Um, and Serge and Chad are kind of interchangeable on Saturday or Sunday. Depending on what we need out of our bullpen the next couple of days will determine where Chad pitches. Chad could pitch Saturday or Sunday depending on how much we need him in the next day or two. What leads you to believe that Jabba can handle sort of different amounts of rest and being pushed back and, you know, having his starts change? Um, well, it, it's constant communication with him. Um, but the important thing is his health and his long-term health, not just, you know, is he a little off one start, and do we do we find a reason for it? Everyone wants to find a reason for when he gives up three runs in an inning. You know, uh, no one says, no one asks as many questions about Andy Pettit or CC or AJ when he gives up three runs in an inning or has an extra day's rest. This is part of the plan, and this is what we have to do because this is not just about the next two months. This is about years and years to come. Joe, I'm wondering. To make the decision with Jabba for the next start, is it because he wasn't feeling great after yesterday, or is that part of the master it's all, plan? It's, it's all mapped out. Okay. So, um, and we'll continue to share it with him, and we talk to him after every start when his next start is going to be, because I don't want him, I always want him to focus on that start. In the back there, Mike. Joe, have you explained to uh, to Jabba's teammates the plan at all, just the purpose and how things are going to work going forward? Well, they understand that um, that he had an innings limitation. I, I don't necessarily feel it's necessary to go to every one of them and explain exactly here's the whole plan, and then and then the whole plan is going to be you know public. And um, but they know he has an innings limitation, and that we're going to do these things. And the other starters know when they're going to start, and the rotation is usually out five or six days in advance. So they have an, a, a decent idea um, what's going on. Jabba will now miss the Red Sox series, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, looking that far ahead. Yes. Was that in particular any part of the plan? No, no. It's just the way the innings are mapped out. So you're not looking at an opponent hypothetically against whom he's been great saying okay we need to get him to pitch in that series no um we just feel that and then you have a couple of days off you have a thursday off and a, and, a, and a monday off um this is just the way that we're doing it brian cashman had told me last friday that he's not getting taken out of the rotation so the way this gets mapped out you never lose him out of the rotation he's going to be there till the end right correct Jay, here you go. Mike's over here. If, if he should happen to struggle with this, would you reevaluate what you have the rest of the year, or is this something that 
you know what I mean? Like if he runs through and he's struggling a little bit with the varying levels of rest, would that something where you would reexamine at that point? No, um, because as I said, the thing is his health, not, you know, uh, if he has a bad start here or there. You, you can't risk a player's long-term health just for a bad start here or there. So, Joe, it, Joe, except for Chad and Sergio, does this impact anybody else? Everybody else is on their five days or maybe yes, six. Yes, okay. yes. So this has nothing to do with anybody else? No. Wally? Joe, back to Java a second. Um, it seems like players' long-term health is being risked all the time. I mean, why is he a special case? It almost raises the specter that he's physically unsound or that you're worried about him in some way. No, um... There's a lot of pitchers that when they first come up and move into a rotation for good, you don't just throw 200 innings at them when when they've only had 100 innings. Um, every time you step out on the field, your health is at, at risk. You know, I don't care. You get in the batter's box, your health is at risk. But we're just trying to be smart about it. We're not asking. We're not trying to overwork him his first year, his first time in the rotation for the whole year. Um, there are instances where players have thrown 200 innings that weren't accustomed to that and have had struggled after. And there's a history that that has been studied by our people, and, and this is what we feel is best. Um, so, I mean, we're just trying to be smart. I mean, he's really never thrown more than 100 innings in a, in a minor league season. And we just think it's entirely too risky to try to throw him 200 innings. Kev? Uh, Joe, when you see something like Cole Hamels last year, too, in the innings he pitched, is that – is that an example of what you're talking about? I mean, you know, in spring training, he was banged up. Um, I mean, there's there's a number of guys that have had issues. Um, so, I mean, it's something you have to be really smart about. I mean, starting pitching is at a premium. Um, good starting pitching is really at a premium. So when you have a good starter, starter I mean, you're going to be smart about it, especially when they're young. Anthony, over here, Joe, to your left. Joe, will the implementation, implementation of this plan, will it have any regard to the standings at any point the rest of the way? Uh, no. Um, and we know how important the standings are. Uh, but it's mapped out, and, and that's why you map it out. So, so you can't get caught up in a moment. Um, you know, we have belief in our other players, and our other players can get the job done. Um, but we're not, we're not going to risk his health. In the back, Andrew. Joe, over. Joe, uh, if you guys make the playoffs, will Jabo be fully available? All hands on deck. 